So at WMG we work on a wide variety of projects and a lot of them are confidential. In this case what we wanted to do is to create a demonstrator vehicle which we could show to the public which showcases some of the technologies that we're working on. In particular we've been working on electrification technologies like battery systems, like power electronics, uh, like electric motors and the control systems that bind all of those together. So this vehicle really is an opportunity for us just to show off some of those skills and some of the research that we're doing. The reason that we've picked this particular type of vehicle to show it on is that we see that cities around the world are facing problems with air quality and with congestion. And particularly if you consider that a lot of the transactions we're conducting result in goods delivery in vans, the idea of having a very light, zero emissions, quadricycle type delivery van was quite interesting to us. The project involved taking a one-year-old Renault Twizy and developing it to an urban delivery vehicle. Within that we developed a new HMI for the dashboard, a new control system and a new battery system that gave us a greater range and could deal with the increased payload. The WMG SME Group are a dynamic team who work with small to medium enterprises within the UK to launch new products to market. The Deliver E project was a great opportunity to collaborate with our friends at Asima. We passed on our early stage concepts and 3D models, so we then supported them in printing, 3D printing and bringing this product to life. What Asima's design has brought, which is unique to this project, is our flexibility, our, our speed and our, and our dynamism in being able to deliver a project from sketch to prototype in nine weeks. The benefits of working with WMG for an SME like ourselves is uh, the ability to tap into their research, their facilities and the network of partners that they work with as well. So what we're seeing in the retail world is something that's called a shift to um, omni-channel retail. And what omni-channel retail means is that rather than just buying through one channel, so we'd go to a store and buy in a store, that consumers are a bit more fickle and sometimes we may browse in store, shop online, sometimes we might browse online, shop in store. Retailers need to be omniscient in terms of they can see um, demand everywhere and then they need to, in terms of their inventory, be omnipresent, which is having the right stuff in the right place to be able to move it to consumers when they want it. If we think about the future, we've got this exciting network of different nodes, whether they be retail retailers, consumers, manufacturers, suppliers. We've now got um, technology to join them together, but vehicles like Delivery could join them together. To start with, we'll show the vehicle as it is for probably six months to a year, and then we'll look at a second phase of work during which we'll expand this to include things like electric motors on ill four wheels to give us better manoeuvrability and better performance in cities. Uh, we'll look at putting things like HMI systems, human machine interfaces, which really make the vehicle well suited to its job in delivery, which communicates to the driver and communicates to the depot to show exactly how the vehicle is being used. And over time, I'm sure we'll find other exciting technologies that we're developing here which will get built into it.